guys welcome back to my youtube channel um today i'm gonna be taking you guys through how i do my meal planning um uh, in my meal planners how i do my grocery hauls and my trips and how much i spend and whatnot um my typical routine for each week so first things first you know sometimes i'm in bed or whatnot but i just kind of like write out brainstorm what i want to have for this week and i don't ever make it complicated you know what i mean i stick to things that I really like, um, that I know I don't get sick of, because honestly, I used to be, um, like in the beginning of my journey, I used to be the person that felt like I had to have something new and something different every single day to keep things interesting, which in the beginning, it really did help me, uh, kind of like get used to substitutions and whatnot. But now that I've been doing this long enough, I know what we both like and what you know what we'll eat and what we'll enjoy what i tend to grieve um through the week so i use my background knowledge of what we typically like to brainstorm out so i'll grab a journal um or a notepad or a piece of paper and just kind of brainstorm out uh, a couple things so first things first i usually do two breakfasts and two different lunches just so that way i have my options however lately i have been so obsessed with my brit bowls i know i know i spam it so much but i just can't help it like i love it so much um so i think i think i'm gonna have that every day this week <laughs> i can't help it like last week i put two different breakfasts like let me show you guys in my meal planner last week i put two different breakfasts i did the brit bowl um sweet and savory steps oats um, and I still ended up just having my Brit Bowl every day. So I might as well just put that in. So I know I'm going to do my Brit Bowl for breakfast. It just works for me. It's full of fiber, protein. It's sweet. It's creamy. It's crunchy. Like it's just the perfect combination of things. I get so happy talking about it. <laughs> That's a good addiction right there. By the way, if my voice is a little off or horsey, <laughs> horsey if it's a little horsey it's because i had my endoscopy this morning so my um throat's a little sore anyways moving on um so then i just kind of write out what what i think would sound good for the week for lunches it's usually super easy for me to do dinner so I also take into consideration what I have in the house. So I'll usually go through my freezer, see what I have, and see what I could possibly make with what I have because I like to try and budget my groceries, uh, my grocery hauls each week. So I like to see what I have and go based off of that. I also try to aim for meals that have the least amount of ingredients or have ingredients that I already have on hand um, that don't cost that much. So things with packages of like the big packages of chicken, um, ground chicken, that type of stuff is pretty cheap to cook. Um, that would last us for most of the week and it's like eight or nine dollars for a huge pack. So this week, let me see. I'm going to start brainstorming here. So I'll show you guys what I come up with as soon as I write it down. write down some snacks so boom chicka pop what else do i got in the house even if i have this stuff in the house i still like to write it down um i have some alani bars because when you write it down you it kind of like refreshes your memory on what you actually have Oh, 
Probably chips. Your cookies. What kind of cookies you want? The same ones? Chips Ahoy? What else? What else should be buying out of the vending machine? Alright. So we pretty much got our um like our meal plan here. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna make a grocery list. So, look at in my freezer, and I have grilled chicken. I have I already pulled the chicken out into um, my refrigerator. I got a half a bag of mint and orange. I mean, a half a bag of vegetable fried rice. I do have a bag of mint and orange chicken, so I won't need to get any of that. What else? I need to probably get some fries. I have a lot of cut to car bread, so I'm good with that. Which you can only get the cut to car breads on their website. All right. All right. So what I do next is I use this list to make a list, a grocery list for what I need. I'm um, gonna take a look at my house, see what I got, what I might need. And I think that's it. Um, the girls typically snack on like what I buy anyways. So they snack on this, like we all eat the same things. So if, like I have string cheese, they'll have string cheese. Um, and they love the Clio bars too. So it's kind of like a treat for them. So I think that's gonna be it. So typically I'll take this and I'll go do my grocery shopping, um, which I will take you guys along tomorrow for that. Um, I am going to set it up in my meal planner so I already have it. Um, so I'll take you guys through how I write it out. So typically I go and I do my grocery shopping. Usually when I come home I write it out in my meal planner. But if I have time I'll just do it the night before because it just makes it easier. So I'm going to show you guys uh, my favorite meal planner. I've had so many different meal planners. But ever since WW came out with this one I just fell in love with it for multiple reasons. Um, I did have a highlight on my page. I'm not sure if it's still there though. But I will show this to you guys. Um, it comes with like tips and whatnot, which is always cool about like how to use it and how to save money. And let's see. So let me go to a blank page. I've like used this thing. I used this meal planner throughout my entire pregnancy. And yeah, because it came out when I was pregnant. And I, I've always been a meal planner. I just always have. So 
I even meal planned when I was pregnant and even though I didn't stick to points I still put them in though just so I could show anyone who might be looking for meal ideas on my page uh, but meal planning has helped me in so many ways so but let me go to some blank oh my goodness here we go so each week it gives you a little tip on like to try something new or whatnot so for this week, it says, this week coming up, it says make recipes with built-in portion control. Try mini loaf pan meatloafs or muffin pan baked ziti, ravioli cups, or quiches. Recipes are in the WW app. Um, I always look at this, but I always tend to look at it after I've already made my meal plan. <laughs> like I've already kind of come up with what I'm going to do. So anyways, but it's nice to have there because there's little tips and tricks sometimes that you don't like ever really think of. So it's, it's always cool. But so anyways, this is what the planner looks like. It has blank dates, so it's not set for a specific year. I can honestly just flip back to the first page and use it again once I run out of pages. Um, use it or lose it ingredients, make a big batch of, and then it has breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. You can put the smart points in the bubbles here. For me, each week, I don't put what snacks I plan to have for each day. I just list out my options for snacks. So that way when the day comes, I can just say, oh, this is what I have. Like, you know, what do I want to have today? So anyways, the other cool thing about this. So it has obviously room for notes, which I've used to make my grocery list. It has these cute little stickers, um, which are always fun to play with on your meal plan has a little pocket where you can store stuff. And then this was always pretty cool to me. Um, it flips open and it has a little grocery list for you. Um, with some, you know, little quotes down here. So you can use this to do your shopping list. Obviously I, I didn't use this page for my shopping list, but, and what's cool is you have the pocket over here. So over here on the opposite side. So, if you want to save your shopping list and you didn't cross things out, you can always slip it in here and put which page meal plan you used this for. So that way, when you go back to the first page, let's say you fill this book up and you want to go back to the first page, you already have your meal plan already done out for you. And you could just refer back to that shopping list um, if you needed to. Now, for me, since I try to use up what I ingredients that I have in the house, like saving this probably wouldn't work for me just because like I may not have everything on there that I need. Uh, but it's always nice to have this in here. This was $20 on the WW shop. So if you have credits, you can use your credits towards getting this. I just really like it, you know, and obviously like I'm not sitting here trying to promote it. I don't make money off of it. I just generally like it. So that's the meal planner. Um, so I will write in the dates. And then I just start to write in my breakfasts, my lunches, my dinners, and then that's it. So I'm going to get to writing all this in. So Mario just went and got me a dot. <laughs> I couldn't even say it on Instagram too. I don't know what the deal is with me today. It must still be a little loopy. But he went and got me a diet cherry limeade from Sonic. Um, partly because it's really good. And the other part is because the ice is really okay. good. So got my shopping list. Um, now writing out my meal plan for the week helped me actually remember that I needed to add uh, fresh broccoli onto my grocery list. So it's always nice because I know like sometimes like it's like, oh, let's just write it down right here and then that's it. Then we kind of like forget about it. But sometimes like 
I know I'm double writing it, but having it organized for me, like just makes it so much obvious. Um, like so, not obvious, but so much easier to kind of like remember. It's like a picture memory almost. So anyways, that's my meal plan. And I will take you guys through tomorrow, the grocery store, which I always shop at Super Walmart. Um, most of all the other stores are in a different town, like uh, from where Super Walmart is. And uh, I don't know, I just would prefer to go to one store unless I'm like, you know, there's a really good sale that's worth it, then I'll go to all the other stores. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, about to head out. I don't know why, but I'm like so excited to make this video. I mean, I think it's because I just love doing my grocery hauls each week. And I don't know why, I feel like it's been a minute since I did mine, even though it hasn't. Like, I've kind of been like iffy on how I like to put my grocery hauls on Instagram lately. Like, I typically will just one individual story per item, but like when you have quite a bit of items that sometimes can be a lot of stories so and I don't want to like make people feel like I have so many stories I don't know I guess I shouldn't care it's my page anyways um but I think this will be fun because I'll have it all in one spot and um I just think this type of haul is just, I don't know, it's so fun. I love it. Especially love throwing the food in the carriage. I don't know why, but when I watch it back, it's like so satisfying. Best water jug ever. I literally take this with me everywhere. This is the 64 ounce. It's so pretty. Which by the way, I do have a link for it. I'll link it in the description below. Um, it's a 10% off discount. So anyways, let's get going. <laughs> three gallons and I always look for the ones that are filled up to the top <laughs> let's see I will grab this one this one this one these are my favorite diapers I used to be a Huggies person but I only like the Huggies um, for when they're like newborns because once it got into like the bigger sizes um, it didn't like I don't know the quality of them just didn't feel too well all right we're gonna grab some Greek yogurt minis um, girls love these three points they also sell the bigger bars but I don't usually eat a whole bar in one so I like to get the small packages I almost just walked by this. This is the yogurt that I use to make my Brit bowls. I still have some left at home, so I'm just gonna grab one. All right, I gotta stop and get this. Look at this. Glazed donut. That's crazy. Eggs. You know what? They have 
have this bread on sale. I'm not really like it. I'm gonna grab it. Two ninety nine. Broccoli. I need two of these. Oh, look at that. Mario got lucky. There was two left. <gasps> it's so funny. There's so many different kinds, but everyone wants this kind. So he loves these. I don't eat these. He does. Cool Whip. All of them are the same amount of points. So I just get the 82 cent ones. I usually grab two. Well, if I'm out, I'll grab three, but I'm not out yet, so. I'm gonna get these for the girls. They also love popsicles, so I will get popsicles, but I typically will either get the sugar free or I'll get the no sugar added bunch of pops so I'm gonna get these ones for the kids. Get these for two dollars. I'm gonna get the zero sugar orange soda zero points on the AW. Dr. Pepper cream soda. You know what? I lied. I'm not gonna spend 518 on this. That's crazy. We're just gonna get diet cola for two dollars and change. One of my favorite aisles, the cheese aisle. <laughs> All right, we need that free mozzarella. Who are you? There's a juice patch. I haven't seen the fat free with mozzarella, the Walmart brand, in a little while. They do have the craft brand, but I'm not about to pay double just for the brand so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get the reduced fat one for two dollars in chains. Also need some queso fresco and feta cheese. Go queso fresco. Um I'm not a big fan of fat free feta. It just kind of tastes very like chalky to me so I get the regular feta. You guys remember these when i was a teenager i used to eat these like nothing with um that jolt energy drinks absolutely insane so the bang bang shrimp that i make i always come to walmart and get the frozen shrimp here um, they have all different kinds so they have ones with um that are peeled the rind the veined tail on um, they also have small ones. I always get the extra small because they're peeled, deveined, tail off, and they're cooked. So it makes it, uh, it makes it like super easy to cook. Um, this is the steak that I use to make the steak and cheese crunch wraps, old neighborhood brand. Four ounces is four points. It's only 100 calories per serving. Five dollars and eighty-three cents. So I grab one. All right, chicken patties. Four dollars and cheese. Right, so I grab these. 
Arbor one, I'm coming for you. <laughs> All right, so my local Super Walmart carries both. I always get the original one, this one right here. I'm gonna grab a box of Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. Oregano. Ugh, I'm not lucky again. Come on. How long does it take to restock your dang swerve? Now let's see if they have the Truvia brown sugar. Mm, doesn't look like it, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go somewhere else to get it. <sighs> you ever just stand there and wish it would have like up here? That's me. Oh, here we go. Brown sugar blend. Stevia sweetener blend with brown sugar. Um. Yeah, I think this will work. Gonna grab the double stuff oils. They're all out. I think I might actually already have my skinny girl dressing at home. But look at this G Huge's sugar free raspberry, sugar free balsamic. These are new, I haven't seen these before. So I'm actually gonna grab this one. It's interesting. Two tablespoons of 60 calories. And I'm gonna grab a couple bags of lettuce. You know what? I'll actually just grab a head of lettuce. I'll probably save me some money. the feta that I like. It's over there. I'm gonna switch this out. From the Frigo. So yeah, they have the fat free. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the fat free. Um, I like the regular. They also have Mediterranean herb. I just like the regular one. It's so good. Some bananas. These look good. And they they only have like three pineapples left now. They don't look very good, so I'm just gonna grab pre-made, pre-cut, easy peasy. Already got strawberries at home. I do want green grapes, so.
came out to 157.17 and that is with the $15 for the diapers. So um, I would say that it was $140 for groceries this week and that's for all of us, it's not just for me. Um, so anyways, so anyways, that is how I do my meal planning and my grocery hauls. Um, makes it super easy, super convenient. So if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like to see more of my grocery hauls every week, if you prefer it on here or on Instagram. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell. Um, so that way you do get a notification when I do post another new video. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in my next video.